I think toughness. I think we um, we made a lot of mistakes. We didn't shoot uh, that well, but I think we, we showed some resiliency and really battled on the boards. Um, and uh, we really got some defensive stops when we needed them most. So I think this, this uh, showed a lot about our team. Step in the right direction to start league play. Kellen, physically, how did, how did you feel out there? Also, I know you're glad to be back out with your teammates again, but any rust that had to be knocked off? Um, I think shooting the ball, I'd say it was a bit of rust. But um, physically, believe it or not, the best I felt in the 10 games I played. Um, I had a few aches and pains and nagging things within the beginning of the season. And, um, you know, the, the knee injury allowed me to, to rest and to also strengthen other parts of my body. Um, and the right knee feels better than it has all year. And I, I really feel good. So I'm looking forward to the next 17 games. Uh, I think it was a good opportunity going in the conference for us to um, allow for other guys to step up. And I, you guys saw maybe uh, that Carter Collins had a pretty, he had some pretty good games. And um, I think it allowed for other guys to get confidence because I think a lot of times Kellen is so good that we, we just depend on him a lot for a lot of our offense. And so um, it allowed for other guys to step up and make plays and get confidence le leading in the conference. You walk us through, I'm sorry, <coughs> you walk us through that. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, coach has been telling me to be aggressive, um, especially in spots like that, trying to get little post ups here and there. And I had a, uh, we got got me the ball in the spot, and they just told me to try to score. So I I drove to the lane and shot it. We want Keyshawn shooting every time he gets the ball in the post, <laughs> or he always makes it the right play. Um, so we definitely want Keyshawn to continue to be aggressive, as coach says. How important is you guys? Huge. I think um, just going into conference, it's a gruel. And last year, we didn't have the best season um, post uh, pre-conference, but non-conference. Uh, but leading into conference, we started off pretty hot. And so it allowed for us to get confidence leading into uh, the conference play, or the conference tournament, sorry. Mm -hmm. And so it was, it was huge for us to get that game, because Duquesne's a really good team. And at home, it's a, it's a big game. It's a real big game. What was Duquesne doing to, to the guys for a while? Uh, they're, just, they're just aggressive on the ball defenders. Um, Coach Dambra is really known for, for having good defensive teams. Um, and, and they get after you, and they're, they're exceptionally physical. Um, and you don't, you don't always see that. And I mean, we shot, and, and they're, they're quick to close out. We were 8 for 25 from 3, which, which isn't great. So um, there's a physical team. They also send, like, Usually three or four guys to the glass every every shot every time a shot's up, um, so that gave us some problems. And but 65 points that's that's a pretty low scoring game. We really had to grit this one out. Um, but like I said earlier, it really showed our resiliency and our toughness. Now, lots of you guys start off the conference year with a win, which is always great. Now you go on the road to face George Mason. Having a battle-tested first conference game, though, how can that I guess help you guys going forward in the conference season, especially with your next? conference game being on the road? I think it's huge. Um, just to, to uh, go back to last year, our second game was a battle against St. Louis. It was a 53-51 win, low scoring game, another grinded out, um, you know, a game that really showed our toughness and that really kind of propelled the rest of our, our, our conference season. I think we won five in a row from there. Um, lost a few, then we finished 13-5 and five in the league. So, I mean, last year was the second game, this year was the first game, but to have a to have a, a really grounded out tough win like this, um, it's just a really great jump start to, to our league. Kevin, when you sit for four games, what what did you pick up? What did you learn about what this team can do? Well, the first thing I'll say it's more stressful when you're not playing. Um, but you know, I, the biggest thing I, I think I, I picked up is that we're a really complete team and we're deep. Um, I think Carter Carter Collins showed that. He's, a, he's a, um, a very capable starter in this league. Um, it allowed Luca to, to blossom even more. We, you know, we, we pounded it inside a little bit more because we lost a bit of scoring. Um, and Luca was able to, to really produce. I mean, he had 19 points against an ACC front court against Wake Forest, and he had some good games. It allowed Keyshawn to be more aggressive. Um, 
it just really helped their team. And I think uh, I learned how to continue to be a good teammate and try to be a leader off, you know, when, I'm, when I can't play, I got to try to help somehow. So, you know, it's good to look at the positives when, you, when someone gets injured rather than, rather than the negatives. And when you're on the bike during the second half, that, that's just... That's just for me to keep, to stay loose. Nothing, no tweak no, or anything like that, just to keep me loose. Anything else for these guys? All right, Coach, be right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, uh, very uh, thrilled with uh, the fact that uh, we fought and we fought. I, I think the crowd was a significant factor, inspiring us, uh, energizing us. And uh, a lot of guys made a lot of big plays at big times. And uh, great A-10 basketball game. Um, we did. Uh, it seems like uh, we, we let a snowball roll down a hill a couple of times in the beginning of the second half, a couple of those turnovers that led to them closing the gap after we had uh, uh, got the lead at halftime and then we had to come back and fight out of the hole there and we had to fight out of the hole again after getting the five-point lead. Uh, but uh, John Axel was terrific as a guy who made jump stops and passes. Keyshawn made that very, very big post-up move at the end. Kellen, uh, great shot at the end of the half, big foul shots, step in three with the guy draped on him. Uh, Luke Frampton had two guys with him almost the whole night. Luka Rokšević is just getting better and better. Um, and, and Carter Collins just gave us such great energy. And uh, you know, I, I think it was a terrific win for us. You like to have women like that to start things off. It's just like reading. Well, I love it when you get 65 and he got 61. <laughs> I think we'll be in the left side of the column tomorrow, not the right side. Although they don't do that anymore, do they? Did I, they remember how they used to always report that? And you always look at the left side and the right side? They don't do that in school, in the paper anymore. Do they still have a newspaper in the Charlotte Observer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I read it every day, just so you know. I read it. Tell the boy Harry I read him every day. You won't see it tomorrow. I won't see it tomorrow? Then it's too late. Oh, okay. Um, how'd Kevin do? Um, I, I thought uh, he did pretty darn well. I think he was finding his way. I think his stamina was a little bit, uh, I mean, it's been a month. December 5th was the Winthrop game. It's the last time he's played. And uh, for him to come back in a month and make the kind of plays that he made after the... Uh, the surgery, I mean, that's, that's pretty special. What about the difference in just having him back? Posted? Well, you can see right early, uh, Sincia Carey is a very aggressive uh, defender, and it allowed us to take John off the ball and put Kellen on the ball very, very uh, you know, seamlessly. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of options. And, I, I, you know, we try to go to Luca, and we had a couple of times we thought we had baskets on him, and he got called for a foul or something. Um, so he's a guy we go to a lot. We try to go to Luke Frampton. We try to go to, to Kellen. Uh, John is, is really good at just creating on his own, and we are going to Keyshawn. So you got five guys that you're going to go to, and uh, I think that's a pretty great thing for our program. Did you like that matchup with Keyshawn at the end? It turned out to be the one basket. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Keyshawn has really gotten good at making that maneuver. And, uh, you know, he's got a body like Cam Newton. You know, he's just a big, strong guy, and he takes up a lot of space, and he's got terrific touch. So, yeah, I, I, I love that move. Coach, in wins or losses, I know you're always looking for stuff to improve off of. What's some things that you want to work on this week? I think communication. I think there are a couple of times where we're not on the same page defensively. Um, I love to play games. So twice in the first half, I'm yelling out on a baseline out of bounds play, um, play to zone, play to zone, play to zone. And we're man to man. But I had such a good act, a couple of our guys fell for it. So they went into the zone. And so I got to improve my communication. That's a perfect example of communication. You mentioned how good it feels, obviously, to be 
be on the right side of the score in, in your first conference win. To go on the road now, having been battle tested now in conference play, I imagine it only can only help your team going forward into the George Mason contest. Well, we've been in tough environments. Uh, Chapel Hill was a pretty tough environment. Temple was a tough environment. Wilmington was a very tough environment. Um, Wake Forest was a tough environment. So we, we've had the experience on the road. This will be our first baptism, and we've been there before. Uh, but they had a wonderful win the other night. They, they hammered St. Joe's, who was one of the preseason favorites, and they didn't just beat them, they hammered them. So we know we got our hands full. What did you get from Carter Collins? I thought energy. Uh, stuck his nose in there, fought, played a role, and played it impeccably well. Uh, relieved pressure, uh, was in every correct spot when we were running our sets, uh, defended, uh, did a sensational job defensively, both in the man and in the zone, and then he's, he just, he, he's just got a nose for the ball. We have a field there, too. Yeah. You know, he, he didn't score a point, uh, but he played an incredible role for us. Incredible role. And I think Kellen's injury gave him the opportunity to get the starting spot and the minutes that have now uh, been translated into him playing with confidence and playing as well the role he did tonight. Anything else? Yes, Thank you. you teach me for that one thing. We left, right, left. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> that one he made in the first half was yeah. incredible.